Welcome to vMix Tips and Tricks Volume 3. In these videos we like to show you a couple of quick tips that you might not know about vMix. Okay, so if you're looking for extra space down the bottom in your input area, you can use this horizontal line to drag up to create more space. You can also use this vertical line to move over your audio mixer. Undock it by pressing this button and bringing it back by going to minimize. And then also turning off the audio mixer area and turning it back on if you need it. Okay, so another feature is if you're one of these people that don't like notifications when you want to do something in vMix, you can go to the options section and you can turn off display confirmation for record external stream multi-quarter buttons. I do recommend that you probably keep this on. However, some people don't like that. So you can change that option in the options there. Okay, now with all the talk of NDI cameras, um, you can actually use vMix um, to connect your cameras to and then use that as an NDI camera. So for the low, low cost of free, if you get the basic version, so that's for only for SDR, or for $60 for basic HD, you could set up a second license of vMix on another computer and then use NDI cameras that way. So what you would do is I've got that, I've got a vMix, copy of vMix running on my laptop. I just go to my NDI section and here it is here. And there we go. I've just added an additional camera into my production by um, having vMix installed on another computer connected to the network and then the camera connected to it. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments or if you've got any tips you'd like to share, please leave them below.